everybody, this is Lindsay. I am the lady behind the blog of Bring My Books. This is my first attempt at a vlog, so it could go very well or it could go very badly. Luckily, my camera is just bad enough that you're not going to be able to see the blushing in my face, so really excited about that. Um, and the reason that I decided that a vlog was worthy of what I wanted to discuss today is this. It's employee discount days. Employee discount days mean a book haul like no other book haul. And there's way too many to try to write about all of them or to really explain how passionately and ardently excited I am about everything that is happening in my life, namely all of the books that I took home with me today. So instead, I'm gonna talk about them with you. So here I go. To my left, I have all of my Juve titles Young at YA. I have all my YA, title, YA titles that I bought today. And to my right, I have all my adult titles that I bought today. So I'm going to start with the adult titles and we will go from there. And I'm going to try to stop moving so much. So the first one we are going to do is Mouse by Art Spiegelman, graphic novel, World War II. I'm very excited about this. I I can't really believe that I haven't read it yet because I read a lot of books set in World War II as you're about to see from some of the books that I'm um, going to pull out of my little book haul today. But I've heard amazing things about it. People are constantly talking about how wonderful it is and this would actually be my first graphic novel. So I feel like if I'm going to try to do the graphic novels, this is a good place to start. So Mouse, Art Spiegelman. Second one is Chateau of Secrets, continuing with the World War II theme. This is Melanie Dobson. Um, dual timeline, World War II, essentially I think she's hiding people in the chateau and the Nazis are coming ever closer, you know, so we're dealing with all sorts of those questions. Um, dual timeline, so we also have something going on current day and the two stories intersect, which are also my favorite thing in the entire world, as you'll see from the books I'm about to bring up. So. Chateau of Secrets, Melanie Dobson. Then we have A Place of Secrets by Rachel Hoare, not to be confused with A Chateau of Secrets by Melanie Dobson. So Place of Secrets is apparently, if you like Kate Morton, you're going to like Place of Secrets. And if somebody says, if you like Kate Morton, you're going to like this, I'm going to read it because Kate Morton is pretty much my most favorite thing in the entire world. So there you go. Next, we have Empire Girls by Suzanne Hayes and Loretta Nahan. I think I'm saying her name right. Um, these ladies wrote an epistolary novel based in, surprise, World War II that I really, really enjoyed. Um, this particular one is not written in the form of letters, but the impression that I'm getting is that they take turns writing from each of the sisters' points of view. Um, not World War II, this particular one. It is New York City in the Roaring Twenties but I trust them. I loved, loved Letters letters to You. What are, I'll figure out what that book title is. And I love this cover. I mean, come on, that's gorgeous. So it's just, it's, it's done, it's there. What are you gonna do? Next, we have The Firebird by Susanna Kearsley. I love Susanna Kearsley. I love the covers of Susanna Kearsley's books. And this one is, is no joke, because that's ridiculous. Apparently, it is I don't necessarily think it's a sequel, maybe more of a companion novel to Winter Sea, which I own and haven't read yet, but I think you can read them standalone. So we'll see how that works. Last one is Secret Daughter of the Czar by Jennifer Lamb, right here. I also love the cover, and I had a huge thing, huge thing for the Romanovs when I was younger, absolutely obsessed. I did quite a few school projects on them when I was growing up. So this one caught my eye, it was on the discount table, just a really, really pretty cover. And again, it's a dual timeline, but I just love it. And people are talking about how well researched it is, well drawn characters, and I am I just feel like it could be really amazing, so I'm going to give it a shot. And I can because it's employee discount days. Do you see how beautiful this all is and how well it's working for us? So that is the end of our adult titles. So now I'm going to go to the YA. Um, the first one is Stolen Songbird by Danielle Jensen. First of all, you want to talk covers? That is gorgeous. 
there's just, I just, I can't. It's just too pretty. Um, and this actually starts the three books in the pile that my book, Goodreads, Twitter, became email, texting friend, Morgan, um, have recommended to me. She actually just finished this one, so I'm wicked excited to start it. It will be my next book, very high on the to be read pile. Next book. It's going to happen. Um, Definitely going to be interesting because there are trolls. Not so used to the trolls. Haven't read a lot about the trolls, but I'm excited. So there's that. Next we have Shadow and Bone. I have heard so much about this book from everyone. And I just, I can't wait to read it because I think it's going to be amazing. And the third one comes out this year and I'm really excited to not have to wait forever for a third book, Can We Say Winter? Thank you for that, Marissa Meyer. It's the fourth book, but you know what I mean. So next we have The 57 Lives of Alex Wayfair. Very excited about this book too. Um, you've got time travel, this idea of traveling back in time to past lives, which is just so cool. Uh, when I was younger, I apparently thought that I had past lives. So, you know, maybe this book will open my eyes. I guess we'll see. Um, next we have The Wicked and the Just. This is just one that I've sort of been hearing a lot about back and forth from people. Um, really good reviews and the idea of the Welsh mythology and Welsh history which I'm really fascinated about and the historical presence of this book. I'm just wicked excited. <laughs> it's called Wicked and the Just. Do you see what I did there? I didn't even do it on purpose. Okay. Under a War Torn Sky. This one is by L.M. Elliot. Hey, guess what, guys? It's World War II. Um, this is a YA version, though. Oh, and that's Luna. She's, she's around somewhere, just traipsing along the back of the couch there. So this is 19 years old. Henry Forster is the youngest pilot in his Air Force squadron. Still, he's one of the best flyers facing Hitler's Luftwaffe in the war-torn skies above France. How can you go wrong? Under the war-torn sky. Next, we have two books by Robert McKinley, Robin, sorry, um, The Hero and the Crown, which was a Newbery Award winner, and The Blue Sword, which is the sequel to The Hero and the Crown, and is a Newbery Honor Award winner. Um, one of the things that I'm so excited about coming into the blogging aspect and reading more YA and feeling more comfortable reading more YA is really getting back to sort of my fantasy roots because when I started reading I was all about fantasy. My favorite series in the entire world was The Enchanted Forest Chronicles. I loved it to pieces. I read it all the time. Of course Harry Potter. <laughs> Duh. But I feel like as I got older I sort of got out of the habit of reading YA and I got out of the habit of reading fantasy and I'm so happy that I feel comfortable reading it again. And I really like reading books that were um, prize winners, won awards, and I mean in the in the YA world specifically. And I just think that this could be kind of spectacular. So, and I mean obviously I bought the sequel, like I'm in this one for the long haul. So, there's those two. And then my last one, this was the splurge. This was the only hardcover I bought because it's not out in paperback just yet, and I I couldn't I just couldn't wait. It's Serafina. And if for no other reason, then this cover is absolutely gorgeous. And it won the William C. Morris Debut Award. So, where are you going wrong? There are dragons. There be dragons. You can't go wrong. Really excited about this one. Um, I actually read on the back of something that if you liked the Graceling Trilogy by Kristen Kishore that you would like this book. I don't exactly see the connection just yet. But I'm, I'm, I'm willing to figure it out because cover, gorgeous, dragons, Kristen Kishore, Graceling, it's, there you go. So, that is my book haul. I'm really excited to have shared it with you. I'm very excited to have done my first vlog. And I have one more thing to show you. It is not technically a book, but it's amazing. And I purchased it today at work, so I'm going to show you anyways. It's a dinosaur that has a pen holder and little notes and when you click his face 
he holds the notes for you. I'm serious. It's a real thing. Wait for it. Hang on. There's a note in here somewhere. So, okay. If you have a little note that you need to remind yourself of that, you just stick it in there. And there you go. Dino holds the note for you. So that's me, Lindsay. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And hopefully next time I'll be a little less stuttery and have my stuff a little bit more together. But this is the first, second and third are going to be the charm, and it's just going to keep getting better from here. So thank you again so much for watching. If you've gotten through this whole thing, I'm super excited, and please leave me comments so I can talk to you about how excited I am. Have a great day.